What time are you most effective during the day? Some people are more effective early in the morning and some people are more effective late at night, but most people don't fall into either of those categories. I just watched the video, Know Your Chronotype, and it'll change your life. It's over a 22 minute video. I'll link it in the description and at the end of this video. But if you don't want to watch the whole thing, let me break it down for you. People are largely divided into three categories. The lark, which is the early bird, the owl, the night owl, and the middle in between, which most people are, is the third bird. Here you can see that most people, 50 or 55% are the third bird in the middle. And the timestamp above is the middle point between when you go to bed and when you wake up. When is the natural time that you would sleep and wake up if there was no obligation whatsoever? If I'm sleeping at midnight and waking up at 8 a.m., then the midpoint is 4 a.m. In that case, I would fall into the third bird because that is between 3.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. If your midpoint is earlier than 3.30, then you're an early bird or a lark. And if your midpoint is after 5.30 a.m., then you are a night owl. Most early birds or larks wake up around 6 a.m. Most third Third birds, which are most people, wake up around 8 a.m. naturally, and most night owls wake up around 10 a.m. Give or take, those are rough estimates. So let's say you're one of the 10% of people who's an early bird or a lark. What should you do in order to be most effective? Your most effective time is as soon as you wake from about 5.30 a.m., which means you should be going to bed at around 9 p.m. Work as soon as you wake from 5.30 a.m. to about 11 a.m., where you can take a break and exercise or something like that, maybe go for a walk, and you can have another work session between 12 noon and 2 p.m. Two to four is when you should eat and wind down, definitely nothing strenuous after 4.30 p.m. If you're among the 25% of people and you're a night owl, then your ideal is to wake up at around 10 a.m. and then you do some light morning routine, whether it's an exercise or something like that, do some easy to do tasks like emails or what have you around noon. This should say 12 p.m. instead of 12 a.m. That's a typo on their part. And then around 6, 7 p.m. you should be ramping up into doing your most difficult tasks and focus work. But if you're like me and you're most people, then you're most likely gonna wake up around 8 a.m. naturally. From 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. should be your peak time, so you should should be tackling your most important work as soon as you wake up for the first couple of hours and then you can work until about noon and after that you can wind down do some less important tasks around 3 p.m and then wind down i mean obviously if you're going to school or you have a full-time job then you can't work as flexibly to fit this schedule as much as you want but let's say you're a third bird like me and most other people then you can schedule your meetings in the afternoon and do your most important work in the morning first thing. One thing that I learned from this video, which I'm going to try applying, is that your exercise or any other activity that is not your focused work, where you're trying to enter flow state, all the other activities that are non-work related can be done at your non-peak times. So as soon as you wake up, you should tackle the most difficult and most important work related, flow state related tasks. For me, I've been going to the gym as first thing in the morning as soon as I eat breakfast, but I'm thinking, maybe I should focus on making an extra video as soon as I wake up because when I schedule to make my extra video in the late afternoon or anything like that I find that I am usually a bit tired and not as focused so I'm going to try applying this video by doing focus work for the first hour or two after waking up and the gym can wait until later. Both for the early bird, Lark, and the third bird, most people, Riandora said that it's important to work as soon as you wake and ideally 90 seconds after you wake up. That'll get you into peak flow state as quickly as possible. Now I've tried making videos first thing as soon as I wake up and I found that unless I already have an idea, I tend to be stalling and I don't know what to do so I waste time. So the key for me if I'm going to make videos first first thing as soon as I wake up will be to already have an idea by the time I go to bed so that in the morning as soon as I wake up I already know what idea I'm gonna make a video on. For my daily videos I think I will still leave it until the end of the day because whatever I experience at the end of the day I can quickly pump out a daily video in an hour or two. Or maybe I should make my daily video in the morning after I just film it at night. I haven't decided but anyways. Check out the video at the end of this video if you want any more information. See you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. So cute.
so cute.